okay guys welcome back to our second tutorial okay and our, i already mentioned in the last tutorial that i talk about this but i didn't actually it should be but let's see the video with the brackets here and um if you could uh import os from uh if you could import import parts from os you can as well implement this by just typing path.abspot and then you can just place in path dot name done name and then you can point this to the render file excellent okay it's nearly the same same stuff uh and what what this does this uh returns uh the path that the code is typed on like in this ca case the app.py file but if you if you can remember clearly where we created our well where we de defined our function yeah here where we created our app okay so it will point to this file here that's the reason why you can see db.sql3 is created relative to the path where the uh, dunder init file is located yeah so that's the uh, let me just come back and maybe maybe we can just do away with this yeah and then maybe this one as well okay i can leave that, that one out all right guys so today we can just start by seeing how to route and we are going to talk about the vanilla kind of routing that you probably are uh, probably used to and then we're going to talk again about uh, the class-based route uh, class-based routing so the class-based routing oh, that should come second <laughs> okay let's come back to our, we can start uh, by writing writing our route and uh, that means that you're going back to our users folder because you already said it's a rational place to start from okay so uh, let me just start by activating my virtual environment pip and we shall yep. excellent um and here i just want uh, we can start by importing okay let's just say from flask import and then we're going to import jsonify this one if i we're going to import render template we're going to import redirect and then we're going to import request and finally we're going to import URL. do we really need all this no i really don't think we need all this let me just leave it at, at request okay we're going to import this one if i request for now okay and then again uh from you say from ehdps.users okay we are going to import our blueprint here yeah. that's where we created our blueprint if you can remember well and then again we are going to okay let, let's in, install a dependency we're going to need need it okay okay so i'll just do pip env install Oops. install flask rest for okay rest for this an underscore there guys don't forget okay let me just correct that once and for all font in the new font for that i can edit my json and then here yeah um let me do font family here okay monospace monospace droid sense mono let's just do monospace here monospace excellent okay let me just close this one i don't need it anymore let it go let it go <laughs> okay <laughs> so i suck at seeing okay so okay so from flask underscore rest for here we are going to import uh, api and results and guys before i write any code here you can remember well that uh, most of the routing 
add and by just if you have declared your app you can just do at app dot route here yeah? remember that and then you can pass in um, the route here let's say uh, the index okay and then you can do the methods here so methods is equal to you can do um get if it's a get request okay you can do post you can do post you can do get post you can do delete here if you have a delete endpoint and then you can do put and several other uh, HTTP verbs here and um, but right now we are not going to import our app we are going to use blueprint because if you can remember well where we imported let me just turn back this to blueprint here okay so if you can remember this correctly when you come back here remember where we registered our blueprints here we pass in the app okay which means uh, our blueprint our blueprint here has uh, an instance of, of, of our app here yeah? okay so here we can just say uh, we can just define index here and then um, okay we can just say this is not this is a this is a get request now yeah this is now a get request i don't want to do multiple and then start checking if the request is a get or a post let's just maintain this to a get request yeah okay so here what you can do you can just say something like return json or re re return response here is equal to return response okay, you can just do message okay and then here you can just say um you can just say hi there yep we are at the e uh -oh. we are at the index route yeah but then again you can just be smart and say we are at the users index route because other routes will behave the same same way Apart from the trailing slash that we okay the trailing slash slash uh, okay there's a trailing slash and then the um, directory name or just the blueprint name like uh, slash admin slash base slash base visit blah, 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 blah. okay so that's that and then finally you can just say here that return okay just disonify this is how you you do uh, you return the response to the user okay okay and then you can just uh, pass in the return response there okay maybe with a status message <laughs> okay that's the heart sweet and easy easy peasy all right so um you come here let me install this uh, right, we did install that. Clear. Okay, so um, coming to think of it, I think we should go to the next type of routing. Yeah? So um, if you come here again, we can just do the class-based routing right there. So um, you can just do class. Yep, and then come to users again here users. And then this will inherit it from the resource class here. Yeah. So um, we can define. Uh, we can define get here. Mm, let's just say ID. You can pass in the self first, okay? Self first. And then you can just do ID is equal to now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and then here we can implement uh, the the get. I get endpoint of the of the route here yeah. or we can just say you can just return a simple stuff here and return you want to return hi there this is another route excellent okay so um you can define 
you can define another maybe you can define get host here yep and then here let me just separate them uh, so that they can look nicely post self there yep and then you can do stuff related to post there for now I just type purse yep that's uh, that's what you do when you, do, when you don't have anything to implement for now because when we start doing our TDD uh, and we don't and and you we need to implement something basic either we go for a price or just return something before the factory okay just basic stuff okay so um we can go ahead and then uh, we can go ahead and just add this to our routes okay we just we just do api not that and just do api dot add underscore resource yes and then we're going to pass in users here users see that and then the route here let, let, let's just call it another route another route yeah another route excellent so this api is not here still yeah but you remember at a point i mentioned that our blueprint has the api instance our blueprint has the app instance yeah so you can just say here api is equal to oh okay api and then you're going to pass in our blueprint here okay that's easy to grasp trust me everything here is easy peasy especially now that i'm the one <laughs> doing the explanation <laughs> all right okay um we can we, we can populate this across other routes as well okay you can just copy everything here and then you bring it to the admin route here routes 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 route route okay but now we are going to do from users that admin okay we're going to import blueprint and then you can go ahead and just do index there return we are at the admin in index slash route or whatever and then you can just do admin here and then you can just pass in admin here Not too easy to press here you can drum that in your head easy stuff okay okay so if you come back here what, what happened to our shell we do pipnv shell yeah. ah, i never activated my shell that means that i okay then i'm just okay all right so um if you do flask Flask route here, flask route that will tell you the kind of routes that you have and what's not happening. What's not happening? Let me debug this Python the PY. Excellent. We can sell this and do flask routes again. Okay, excellent. So he, he the routes that we have here, most of them are pointing to our static folders that we create here. And then when you come here, we have the index and then the the part that is just user slash. Okay, and then we have another route here. You see them then you have admin and then another route so it's and then this is a post get and post get and post yep excellent so um that's basically how to do to do our our, our routing so we can just check if everything works if everything checks out okay 
yep so let me just do um last cry out of python of the puree let me append that that's a dead end okay let's that fix that for, uh, that in the first place i'm going to use my base i'm going to use my base route as well so um let me just populate everything to my base and i'd love to leave my base open yeah so um here what i'm going to do under my init file where i'm creating the base blueprint i'd want to leave it just trying like that okay and um the routes here in the in the in the base module what i'm going to do with them is okay we are at the base index okay and then um you can just do something related to base here and then pass in base here again no base base like my base right now okay interesting okay base you guys if you have base you can help me sing along sing along sing along all right so um what i'm going to do here again oh that status that status uh, code for okay everything just check out fine here yeah. and um so um when i removed the trailing slash that means that i want i don't want that i don't want this uh routed to slash base just want it to remain like that so that uh i can catch this dead link here yeah okay 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 slash something is not working what if i leave this one open hold on a sec hold on a sec i need i need to to run my application again python up the py uh, see what i have here i'm writing an existing route you can just correct that fellas you can just correct that okay base you can just correct the so okay we can just correct that one so clear let me do python after py again where is this admin blueprint that i'm overwriting oh i see i see the problem definitely is here for me is dot base okay that's where the problem is just being silly enough not to not to see it okay i can do away with that let me just do python after py excellent oh good so um if you come here i oh, already have something at the at the base index okay at our base url because this is not routing to any okay there's no nothing trailing after the after the slash okay so that's just routing to our base url and that's what i wanted okay so um if we could do it again flask route now we have several routes here yep another route another route here for base you can name it whatever we feel like but you can leave it like that for now who cares after all it's just a tutorial making you understand 
Okay, so um, let's run our Flask run, okay? Now we can start visiting our our routes that we just created, okay? We can come to users, yep. Oh, yes. You can come to admin, we already worked on admin. And then you can come to users and then slash. What was the name of the route again? Remind me the, num the name of the route. Another route, yep. Yes. And then again, um, we had uh, which other admin? Yep. This is another route under admin, actually. So guys, that's the way to do both class-based routing and the vanilla kind of routing in Flask when you're building your Python APIs. Oh, okay. So um, so in our next tutorial, we should start uh, modeling. Okay, we should start modeling our application, and then we can see how to implement this uh, HTTP request. Okay. With something was holy more uh, reasonable yeah so why don't you just join me in, in the next tutorial uh, or should I just continue with this no I think you already, we already have enough minutes I don't intend to make this one as long as the previous okay see you guys then